You know that quote that says, do something every day that scares you? Well, I decided to put that quote to the test and for the past 10 days, I did something every day that scares me. I filmed it so you could see my pain and discomfort that I went through. So let's just jump right in. Day one, starting off with a bang, I entered this elevator pitch competition with a business idea that I've had and I made it to the semifinals. Now I have to go pitch in front of a bunch of judges. If you can't tell, I am extremely nervous and this is me in the bathroom beforehand trying to do a power pose and trying to give myself confidence, but I went and did it and it went awesome. I'm so proud of myself. I'm like probably still shaking right now. <laughs> This one was probably the one I was most scared of to do out of everything in this video. I came to the revelation that I wanted to get a second piercing. And the feeling before I went and actually got my ears pierced was the worst feeling in the entire world. Because I'm deathly afraid of needles. I actually drove here like right when I woke up this morning um, to try and get it over with. And then I sat in my car for an hour and then convinced myself not to go. So now I'm back. Second time's a charm. I'm so scared, I'm so scared. Do you have any like funny stories of giving piercings or anything? Funny stories? Yeah. Just really big deep breath in for me. And exhale. that was good. Oh, that wasn't even bad. I feel like my phone's shaking or something. <laughs> <laughs> You're shaking. Yeah. Exhale. I did it, I did it, I did it, I did it, I did it. Ah! So proud of myself. So today I decided to make some Halloween themed brownies and then go and give them to my neighbors and meet them all. It was like slightly uncomfortable because they weren't expecting it, but I think they all appreciated the brownies and they all seemed happy. Honestly, I wish I'd baked more brownies. I wanted to meet the entire neighborhood, but I only had enough for five houses. It was pretty fun. Today I'm trying out an aerial silks class, which is something I haven't done in like over a year. And especially trying something like this by myself made it a little bit more nerve wracking, but it was really fun and I'm definitely gonna go back again. So a few days ago I pitched this idea that I had to judges, right? Cause I was in like the semi-finals, but apparently they liked my idea enough that I made it to the finals. And now today I have to pitch in front of like 300 people. I'm really, 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 really nervous. Hopefully it goes well. And here's actual footage of me doing this pitch and trying not to seem completely terrified. But surprisingly it went pretty well. I didn't win, but I think it, I did a pretty good job. Reality is with me. So I was trying to think of things that scare me and then I was like, oh I know, dating. A few days ago, made a Tinder profile, started swiping, now I'm going on a date. I know, right? It's just so awkward, I just hate the awkwardness. Like I'm just, I'm cringing because I know I'm, already know the awkwardness is gonna be there. The fear I had before all of these challenges started becoming more and more manageable as time went on. Like this time I was nervous and I knew it was gonna be awkward, but instead of letting that fear control me, I kind of saw it as a challenge and something that I wanted to overcome because I was afraid of it. And I wanted that feeling of accomplishment after I completed it. Update, I just went on a date. It was chill. I don't really feel like I need to pursue anything with this, but it just like makes me feel good that I was able to go and meet someone and just talk to them and yay me. Day six, I decided to go an entire day without wearing makeup. Wearing makeup is like part of my identity in public basically. And I'm like stripping that down. So it kind of makes me feel slightly uncomfortable. I feel more attractive when I wear makeup. Like I look at my face now and I'm like, oh shoot, like I look tired. But like when I don't see my face and I just see other people's reactions, nothing's changed. So it's kind of cool. Day seven, I decided to tackle my fear of needles once again. Today, I'm gonna give some blood. I just feel like it's selfish not to give blood for a stupid reason like being afraid of needles. Here I am anxiously waiting to give blood, uh, knee shaking because I'm nervous and I ended up just getting a finger prick because- Turns out I can't get my blood taken today because I've had too much caffeine. So I got a finger prick, which I was very nervous about and it like was fine. I scheduled another appointment and I'm going back in in like a week. So there's this thing called Startup Marathon that a lot of business students at Cal Poly do. It's basically a weekend where you get in teams that help turn your new business idea into a viable concept. And at the end of the weekend, you pitch to a room of people and a panel of judges. So naturally, this weekend was full of excitement, stress, and large amounts of caffeine and very, very little sleep. But every minute there was something new to take me out of my comfort zone and it was all so extremely exciting. 
Also, FYI, the no sleep will totally catch up to you because, fun fact, my brain stopped working while I was giving my presentation and I literally froze on stage. That being said, I'm still pretty proud of myself for being able to stand up there and give it my best shot with only having a couple hours of preparation. So for this last one, I was thinking about how expensive getting haircuts were and I decided to give myself my own haircut because I had a ton of split ends and I honestly had no idea what I was doing. I miss my hair! <laughs> it was quite an experience, but I saved a lot of money and now my hair is shorter and healthier. I'm pretty proud of myself for like actually cutting it off and not knowing how to do it and never cutting hair before. Um, I feel like it kind of, kind of worked. So, yeah, there we go, did it, ah. Okay, um, wow. I feel like a changed person. Honestly, my confidence like skyrocketed. Every single time I did something that scared me, the feeling before was awful. But it was more awful in the beginning than towards the end. After each time I did something that scared me, I got this instant surge of confidence and happiness and accomplishment and just like being so overly like proud of myself for doing something that I was terrified to do. I want to go through the discomfort so I can accomplish something that I was afraid of and then get that surge of confidence and that surge of happiness afterwards. So this was just me kind of recapping my experiment, but if you want to learn more about how to find comfort in discomfort and what you can do and what all that means, I made a video just kind of like breaking all of that down and I thought it was pretty fascinating and interesting. So if you want to check out that video, I'll link it down below and on the screen right here. I hope you enjoyed this video and maybe inspired you to do something that scares you. Also, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and you want to see more videos from me. If you guys have ideas of videos you want to see from me, then comment them down below. But besides that, thank you all so much for watching. I post a new video every Friday, so stay tuned for that. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!